I left a huge chunk of our travels, and specifically Bulgaria, out of my vlogs, owing in part to getting behind on editing, but also because Bulgaria is where things really changed and when I started harboring a secret. So today I want to finally share with you the thing, the secret. Plus, also share some missed highlights from our travels in Bulgaria. Maybe you're interested in hearing our news and that's why you're here in, in this video with me now. Maybe you've been following along with our travels and you're excited to see this missing piece of the full-time travel puzzle that hasn't been shared before. Or perhaps you've never been to Bulgaria and you're just curious about what the heck we did for more than a month that we were there. Or maybe you just want to stay tuned because you will discover <laughs> the most surprising thing you will ever find in an H&M clothing store and it has nothing to do with clothes. You seriously can't make this up. It was really surreal. <laughs> so we're going to get into what really happened in Bulgaria, both literally and figuratively. If you watched last week's vlog, you'll know that we had a rather dramatic entry into the country, but after a brief sojourn in the delightful Bulgarian countryside, we headed into Sofia, the capital. And side note, that's where the thing happened. More on that in a second. Now, you might know, if you've been following my channel for a while, that we decided much earlier in our travels to largely avoid cities, not being city folk, really. There are some ancient, giant sequoia trees, apparently, so we thought we'd come see them. Oh, so autumnal, and oh, the smell of the trees <laughs> gets me every time. It seems that somewhere in the Balkans, that went out of the window. <laughs> Caveman is of the opinion that if you're going to drive through a country, it's kind of rude to not at least see its capital. These three behind me are absolutely massive. It's so big around, so beautiful. They have such a presence to them. There we were <laughs> in Sofia and we really rather liked it. I wouldn't describe it as mm, charming as such, but it definitely has a lot of character. And the walking tour that we did was really enlightening and we really enjoyed the story about how the Bulgarians saved their Jewish population during World War II. Really heartwarming story. And also a testament to the kind of inclusive feel that we really picked up on in Bulgaria. So in Sofia, there's a small triangle made up of a church, a mosque and a synagogue, all coexisting alongside one another, which I thought was really lovely. So the walking tour is definitely recommended if you find yourself there, as is the Red Flat. This is an entirely preserved apartment from the communist era, and the family donated the apartment with all of their furniture and lots of their belongings. So it's literally like stepping back in time, like a full kind of apartment time capsule. You can touch everything, you can mill about, and while you mill about, you listen to this audio guide, which are small stories shared by the former occupants about daily life. So it was really fascinating, really engaging the kind of homeschool activity I like <laughs> so okay let's get to it it's time for the thing that changed everything because it was while we were there in Sofia or Sofia I never know how to pronounce it if you're from Bulgaria please let me know in the comments and we were staying in a car park at the stadium which actually overlooks a really nice park when this happened oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> this is like the worst camera angle ever what did we just find out, guys? House is hard! The solicitor said, uh, we'll instruct the estate agent to release the keys to you. Ah! It's ours! It's ours! The farm is ours! There's terrible lighting, I don't even care. I like, said to K-Van, I feel really like, oh, because I can't like jump and like scream because we're in the van and it's raining outside and it's like space to express my excitement. But it's ours! We did it, guys! We have a farm! We have a homestead! We've got a cottage! and land and everything. Ah, we did it. Oh my God, it's been a long journey, but we did it. Yay! <laughs> Give me a hug. Give me a hug, get in there. Ah, oh, yay. Mwah. We're doing it. <laughs> I get a horse. You get a horse. Four horses. I get a Ferrari. No, what? I get a cow. Oh. 
<laughs> Ferrari. Nice try. <laughs> it was finally real. The dream of owning our own little slice of heaven in Ireland was finally here. So we celebrated with a traditional Bulgarian meal at this really excellent little restaurant. All rustic wood panelled ceilings, stone walls, etc. Loved the vibe. Food was really interesting. And we had this wormwood wine at the end, which is kind of like mulled wine, but way better with lots of different fruit and herbs infused in it delicious and if that wasn't a celebratory enough vibe then these guys turned up wait for her face ah oh, <laughs> the sheer joy of being 11 and being serenaded bless her so that's the cat out of the bag we are now proud owners of our own house and home in ireland I'll keep the Bulgarian footage rolling now, but what I want to just tell you a little bit more about is what happened next and why I haven't actually felt able to share this update until now. So the reality is that after our initial excitement, we felt a bit shell-shocked. The sale went through far quicker than we'd hoped was even possible. And so it kind of surprised us, if I'm being honest. We'd been told all of these horror stories about how slow the process can be. So we just braced ourselves for an inevitably long timeline. And plus, we were, of course, all the way over in the Balkans. We weren't in a hurry for it to necessarily complete. So when it did, it kind of took us by surprise. And the other thing is that being so far away, it didn't kind of feel real. There was this teeny bit of mm, like an anticlimactic feeling to the whole thing. Usually when you buy a house on completion day, you like excitedly pick up the keys and immediately go to your new home. Instead, we just sat in the van looking at each other <laughs> and repeating, I can't believe it's ours. So it wasn't wrong as such, but it was just an odd feeling. So I just wanted to share that. And again, this is the reality behind <laughs> the dream, right? Let's just take a very quick interlude to visit the most surprising thing you're likely to find in an H&M store. Roman ruins. Clothes. <laughs> Now, I'm sure you can imagine that this news did play a big part in us changing our travel plans. So while we really made the decision after getting sick and after having that heart to heart in the park, you'll know what I'm talking about if you watched last week's vlog. Traveling further and further away from our newly purchased home just didn't feel right. Our new dream life has just been calling us and drawing us back to Ireland to our new home. So why have I sat on this? Why didn't I share? Well, we didn't know exactly when we'd be heading back until we had the whole thing with our sharing and time expiring. And then, you know, it became quite clear quite quickly. <laughs> But that was more than a month after the sale went through that we actually knew when we'd be returning. So we didn't immediately know. And the house was sitting vacant, actually. So it felt kind of odd somehow talking about something that was so far away from us and empty. Uh, I can't really articulate it fully, I don't think. But it just felt like until we'd been there ourselves and walked onto our land and opened our front door, it just felt like something to keep private, even though I knew you'd be really excited for us. The other reason, and I'm sure you're all dying to see what we brought, right? It, all in good time. Don't worry. We'll, we will make that happen. Is there were some old listings and other information online about the place that we've bought um, that we had to request to be removed because they weren't really things that should be put in the public record to begin with. So we were kind of waiting for that to happen. So we just made the decision to hang fire with the public celebrations until we were here. And I say here because I am recording this from the van outside of our house. So yes, we made it. We are in Ireland. And and excited to start settling in and become part of the community here, we hope, to create our little homestead and ultimately begin a new chapter of our lives. It feels massive and a bit daunting, but really it feels like home. 
Until next time, my love, go live your dream life. Bye for now.